Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we are studying multiplication in two ways. Here I have some, let's say, raspberries that are neatly arranged in these rows and columns. So I can make groups this way. I can think of it as having a group of four, a group of four, and a group of four, right? I can add four and four and four. I can write a multiplication. Three groups of four equals 12. But I can also make the groups in a different way. I can make the groups to be these columns this way. And this time I get four groups of three. I can write the addition or I can write the multiplication. Four groups of three equals 12. So, what I want to illustrate with this is that in a multiplication, 3 times 4 or 4 times 3 has the same answer. Let's look at it again. Here I have again some plums, maybe? We are going to divide them into groups in two different ways and write two multiplications. Matthew, you want to do that? Make the groups. Okay. Right, that's one way to make the groups, and the other, you can see, this way, by the columns, by the rows, by the columns. And now we can write a multiplication. Here we have two groups, two groups, and seven in each group. So seven and seven makes 14. Over here, we have seven groups and two in each group, but the total is still 14, right? It does not matter whether it's two times seven or seven times two, the answer is the same. I'm gonna do the same thing here too. First, I'm gonna make a one group. I'm gonna write a multiplication. There's one group, and then how many in each group? Just six, six in this group. So I get one times six equals six. And then over here, I will make six groups. Each group has one. So I get the multiplication six times one equals six. Over here, we have three times five and five times three. Now we already know that the answer to both will be the same. But our task is to draw some blueberries, Matthew? Sure. Three times five, it means three groups and five in each group, okay? Yep, that's one group of five blueberries. Another group of five. Okay, you should practice your coloring method though. And then the groups, let's also circle the groups so it is clear. We have three groups of five. And then the other, can you see how it should be drawn? We need to draw five groups of three. Okay, and let's draw the groups too. These are groups of three, and there are five of them. But either way, the answer is 15. Now we're going to look at the same idea on the number line. Three times six, or six times three. We know the answer will be the same. This one would mean three jumps of six steps each. Let's draw six steps each. That's six, then over here, 12, and then over here. That's three times six equals 18. And then six times three, I need to make six jumps. And they are each three long. So over here, and then over there. Like that. And that also is a T. Lastly, as we have learned in this lesson, in multiplication it does not matter in which order you're multiplying those two numbers, but one of those might be easier. For example, 2 times 8 or 8 times 2. Which one is easier to solve? If you think of it as two groups of 8 
or eight groups of two. If you have eight groups of two, you, you take a longer time adding those twos, right? Two and 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 two. And this is easier because you just have eight and eight, right? So that's the easier way to think about that multiplication. Six times ten or ten times six. You can think of it as six groups of ten. Ten and ten and ten, ten and ten and ten. Or ten groups of six, you know, six, 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 six. Which one is easier if you're adding to find out the total? This is, right? Six groups of ten would be sixty. One more. Three times seven or seven times three. Obviously, it is easier to add just seven and seven and seven, right? And you will get 21. So always keep that in mind when solving multiplication problems. And we're all done with this lesson.